Hey guys, welcome everyone to the live stream. Tonight we're gonna have Poland B versus Hungary A from the Team Gomoku World Beast Championship 2024. Supposedly an exciting match. From one side we have Poland B with Luke Lukas Meixner, Stepan Vukasik, Mateusz Renjo, Kat and Katsper Wojtyla, strong blitz players, all of them. And on the other side we have Gergio Tot, Zoltan Shonkoy, Kieran Luce, and myself, Zoltan Laszlo. I guess we don't need much of an introduction. Having six points after six rounds. This is the last round of the team World Base Championship. We need one more win and then we have another perfect run. I believe in my teammates, I believe we can do it. Which is why I'm starting on the bench today. And I'm just gonna let others play. So I can stream more. I guess we have already the pairings for the first round. It's WBC Heater versus Kiran, Kremovka versus Gargu and Whiskey versus Siren. So let's see how things are gonna go in this first round. Let's kick off with Kiran versus Ushek. That's Kiran Luce versus Bukash Meixner. I'm just gonna be in and out of tables in this first round. Of course I might play tonight, maybe one round. Maybe more if necessary, but I don't think it will be that necessary. I think they can take care of the job. And here we go. Ushik opens a central opening and Kira responds with a prepared swap to. Let's see if Ushik can solve this one. So probably you can think of overlining your opponent here, maybe not gonna work. So you can also play this one, then the block has to come from the middle. Then you can think of this move, but you have to be careful of this response, or also this one. But maybe this is slightly weaker because of this move, but still with this one I would go here probably. Looks quite okay-ish. Let's say. So let's see how well prepared Kieran is from his swap to. His thinking, his calculating, he chooses a different path. After this move, almost surely this white is gonna come from Ushik. Okay, maybe this also has some chances. Starting to look good, 8-7. This one is slightly worse build up for me. Now, obviously, obviously, Kieran can choose this move or this one. He's going with the more aggressive approach. This move is a must from Ushik now. That the response in the middle has to go up. Then the block here probably and this one but maybe this would be better because there's a good build up chance for white in this top area kieran is also low on time and having some troubles this is a winning move for white now likely ushik is going to find it he is siding with the direct approach nothing wrong with that it's still winning for him oh small mistake here a different build up is needed, he needs to extend his win here, but still finds one. Just had to go the long way around. First point by him. Let's 
Okay, second game, Kiran puts up an uh, opening, a new era opening, so called. It's an interesting one. An opening by Marty Muzika, the world champion of 2019. I like this opening myself and been using it quite a lot. Now, Kiran needs to side with black, in my opinion, because this is still very much possible. But he sides with white and goes with a more careful approach here. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. Black has the initial advantage in this game already due to this rather passive beginning from Kieran, who is on the move but thinking now. Ushik has the momentum, but he needs to build an attack. He has some time advantage and now launches his attack. This move is almost surely incoming. I'm wondering if he's gonna go here. It would be a losing move, of course. So he blocked here. No mistake yet. Kieran below 10 seconds already. Ushik on 30. The young Hungarian player might have some problems here if he cannot turn up his speed. Although the sequence chosen by Ushik is slightly disadvantageous, I'd have to say. Small mistake there because this line is not really good for him. Of course, this is gonna save him, but Kira needs to not forget about this line. There is a win for black here. But in time trouble, they are just blocking and blocking and blocking. Not realizing. I mean, Ushik is blocking. Not realizing he could have gone for that attack up there. And now he will need to play this one, but a misclick and he loses. It's 1-1 overall, 4-2 lead for Hungary. Let's check another game. Let's see how Zoetan Shonkoy, that is WBC Iron, doing against Katsper Wojtyla, that is WBC Whiskey. We see a corner opening, there are developments and positional play. It's balanced for now, White having small positional advantage if played well. This move is bound to come, yes, it's there. Now Katsper needs to be careful, he doesn't have a lot of resources, White can play the long shot, try to surround his opponent, but it also needs to be mindful because this move for example would be losing, there's a nice combination for Black there. And Aaron notices it and takes because he measures. All right, now Katsper can launch his attack there. Is he going for it? A rather passive approach from him. He could have attacked here, but uh, well, he didn't. So let's see how Iron is gonna react to this. Clockwise, they are similar right now. Let's see how this game develops. I believe he should not have played this four, but not a lot of options there. So this is a must, and now Black can launch its attack. Deadly one, perhaps. Iron trying to defend him. Oh, that's, that's just... Almost good because because if he had had he played here he would have a win but uh, this way no wins for him and he needs to defend and Black has some some chances up there some good ones a really good chance for 
I win an overlook 3, a uh, sorry 4, meaning the Polish player takes this point 2-1 in this individual match so far. Okay, a scheme swap to Iron was quick to pick white. Let's see how well he's gonna do here. He obviously needs to go from below, and then this black is inevitable. Then this build up could be dangerous, nothing too strong there yet. So, I would recommend a rather indirect approach here because you don't want to give white too many extra stones there especially if you don't need to yes and now he could maybe just go up here but he needs to be careful of these options there okay now VC have tried directly so maybe this move is enough Defensively is definitely enough and there's not a lot of room for a continuation up there. Sorry down there Okay, maybe an overline attempt. I don't think it was the best idea But now white can take advantage of this and maybe take control of this game This too needs to not be forgotten, it could be used for some offensive development, but for now, rather passive approach here. Maybe now it's time to try and create something, black's attack is a dead end for now. This is a nice trap, aiming at this line as well as this one, but also easy to defend rather. Okay, Iron in two seconds, he's timing out. 3 1 for Kasper Wojtyla here. And the difference is only two points for now. Let's see how Gergi Tot is doing against Stepan Vukasic. Corner opening from the latter. Gergi is quick to pick white. And it's game on. Initial positional advantage for white, I'd say. Nothing decided yet, of course. An aggressive line from Gergi. Is it, though, a good one? Because after this move, you have to go up here, and this one gets played, and this one comes. Okay, this is also. So it's just a black win. Too early aggression from Gergi told there. And Poland B just leveled up the score, 6-6. Six, six. Altogether here, Gergi is leading 3-2. Five games already played. They are fast. A central opening and a quick swap to Gergi picks white this instance again. And it's game on. It's a familiar pattern. Let's see how Gergo aims to play this game. He needs to be careful, he will not be able after this block comes from above, because it will come from above for sure. Nothing else. Oh, from below, wow. A very surprising mistake. Just losing that way, just this two combo. It's a surprising mistake from Stepan Vukasic. Allowing Gergi to take another point here. Another quick game. Okay, the same build up as in the first game we witnessed. But Gergi will play here now for sure, yes. Well, he can simply come here, no big drama, even if this move gets played. But this will be played first, probably. It's a small thread because you need to block from the right side. 
Okay, uh, Kramovka does not want to use this, not yet at least. Now it's maybe a time for a positional move. Gergi was not really threatened here. He could have gone up to attack, in my opinion at least. Now this is an interesting move. I would definitely try and attack here. Maybe play this first and then go here or something. I would play this to keep black from playing it. It's It should be more advantageous that way for white. But it is not played. Possibly this should be the moment where black tries this L3 move and then goes here maybe and then tries to defend up there but it's a different scenario he's disagreeing with me right now white occupies this important H3 coordinate Gergiv keeps on pushing forwards with his attack. I do not think Kramovka can find defense here. He also cannot go for an attack because it's well defended. And he times out 5-2 for Gergi. Hungary back in the lead with 4 points now. Let's go back to Kiran and Ushuk. Where the young Hungarian is opening. And another swap to incoming from Lucas Meixner. Kieran quickly picks white. And the game begins. But again, a rather passive move. After, after you move towards the edge of the board, it's hard because you either fight a win in the corner area or you get surrounded so it's not good and if you then after go back to this position like that you give up the tempo in the game and allow black to build its own attack for example this move could come in handy and Vukash Mikesen plays it d6 incoming and another aggressive attempt from him it's looking good for black Polish player might win this one Okay, this is unexpected. I would have played here if I was him. But still, this move is a Fukumi. Could still work. However, this one and this one would have been better in my opinion. Regardless, he can still do it. There's a quick win for him. Three moves VCF, ending with a 4x4. Four four. He can alternatively play this line. A lot of wins to choose from. He plays the 4x4 four four and equalizes and Poland B equalizes again. It's 10-10. What an interesting first round it is. A different swap to this time from Kieran. To the same opening. And Lucas Maxer picks black very quickly. I would have expected him to think it through more carefully. In all fairness. But he was quick to pick it. Well, let's see where, where he can go with this. Okay, he seems to have built quite a good advantage, he moves forward with a nice offensive move, this one is, is good, he wants to build up in this top left area, central area, he could have played here also on k8, it would be also a nice move, let's see, let's see where he, this takes him, 
let's see if Kieran can withstand the attacks of the Polish bees captain. Again, not the first time in their matchup. A considerable time advantage for Wukas Meixner. Probably yes, this move is coming, then this one in the middle, H10, you need to block because H9 is a quick win, then the move here, then this gets played, you have to block up, but it's over. Fork 3, Ushik turns it around and takes the lead there. Interesting, and Poland B takes the lead. Alright, let's see. Iron and whiskey. Whiskey has some tempo there. Nothing too dangerous yet. It's still controllable. But Iron needs to be on top of his game here to not lose this one he for example needs to think of a move like k5 it looks really good to me now a more passive approach gonna come this is gonna be blocked from below no not from below okay oh that's a mistake a mistake there was a quick attack left there for white unpunished but now you can play here, play here, yes, it's it's all the way. Katspur is all over him. Offensive chances everywhere for him. Probably he's gonna attack with this one next. C7. Or maybe he feels like this attack is done there. No, C7, it is. Maybe he looked carefully if he could build something up there, but eventually sided with c7. Now this one gonna be blocked on f4 most likely. After that, there's no direct win here. Also no indirect win probably, so you would need to play some tricks like f10. I don't know if it can work. If I was him, I would have blocked this from down below. This looks very dangerous, you cannot ignore it. There's a win for white there. Katsper Whiter applies it. As I've said, Poland B is full of strong blitz players. So far, they are leading against us. Although I'm not playing. But seeing the result, I may need to. Anyhow, an edge opening from Zoltan Shonkoy. He's with wide there. Quick development once again between the two. Maybe this move should be considered e8, looks good. This I don't like because you will have to go back to defense right after, right immediately. This can be blocked from both sides, maybe maybe I'm voting for this one. Now this move comes and basically the attack is done with... Oh no, mistake. Or is it? Oh, there's no win for white actually. It was nicely blocked by fours there, which keeps back to the advantage to black. Interesting. Now this will be played because uh, he's rather playing passive tonight. It's a well-controlled game by black. Black launches an attack down there. Both of them are playing very, very fast. Now something you need to remember is this line being able to be played, but this for blocking it, so you don't need to worry about that much. Which means Katsper needs to attack this area. 
and there is a bin he built a win nicely for himself this this line is gonna win for him this diagonal and this one gonna be seven three for the polish player real quick apparently this is also a win so he can even choose which line he wants to play there's two wins for him maybe he's not seeing it yet but he has to find one it's very easy but he does 7-3 for now Poland B takes a 6 point lead here also it looks like Kramov could just won a game is it over between the two yet 6-5 for Garga it's over let's go back to Kieran and Wyshek then it's 6-3 for the Polish player okay it looks defended it looks defended because blocks coming from below and then it's defended most probably this move is gonna come from Kieran m7 okay this just in the middle simply doesn't look bad for him oh that's a mistake Kieran can play this move m10 and then here three by three no block because if you block one the other gets uh, extended as a four only the order Kieran oh he missed it he missed the win surprising oh the nerves but still he's in a solid position there and still attack now I'm pretty sure Vukash Meister is gonna do his best and utmost to defend this situation Kieran is in time trouble only five seconds remain for the young Hungarian player this move is bound to come from Ushek I'm batting I don't think he wants to go for an attack here he's gonna go with the simpler solution maybe he's not <coughs> sorry he's not going with the simpler solution it could get problematic for him He's gonna have to overline his opponent now. He does that and it's rock solid. Block has to come from above, but then there's this one. It's chaotic. No defense for the Hungarian. Seven three. Oh, Kieran plays my variant. Ushik is familiar with it. Now this move needs to come. J6, that's my move in this line. You could see both of them were about one minute. They know this, <laughs> this sequence by heart. I've played it with both of them quite a few times. They've seen it from me. Anyhow, it's balanced. It's playable. Must not overlook this threat. Has to act on it. Then the block comes from J uh, from from Ushek on J4, and then it's kind of black advantage. You have to go back on E7 or something to solidify your position. Lucas Meissner is probably thinking on J3 or J4, which one is better for him? But J4 it should be, and he plays J4. Well done, I have to say, well done. Now I would go on e7, but Kira maybe will try i3. I would not use up much of your resources uh, if I were you, because you will need to keep threatening your opponent even later in the game, and you just give him extra stones like that. Now it's black advantage once again. Uh, 
let's see, let's see how Kieran is gonna deal with this. It ain't gonna be easy. Maybe this move G6 is about to come because it at least threatens his opponent there. But a response to G6, a very strong one, could be G4. Well, G4 on any level, at any moment, is very, very dangerous right now for Black. G4 could easily turn into a winning move. I'm not calculating all outcomes there because there's a lot of ways to have it played, but very, very dangerous. So the difference between this E4 and G4 is G4 would not give an overline on the contrary to what Ushak did here. Now this is gonna get blocked from above and now maybe g4 gets played, I don't know. There's an overline on this diagonal for white now. Different approach. And the missed win. There was a one move win which was missed apparently. And now there's another one here on f5, will he find it? A3, tremendous from the Polish guys, 2013 after the first round, well done by them. I believe I need to join the match, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure who I should substitute. I don't want to substitute Gargu. It, it, it's gonna be Kieran tonight. Or, or should I? Should I substitute Aaron? A hard, hard one. Well, I'm gonna side with Aaron. Okay, so for the second round we have Ushik versus Gergiev, Kramovka versus Iron, and me versus Whiskey. Alright, so game on, let's see. I'm not super prepared to play actually, but we had a bad start. Looks like I might need to join. Fingers crossed I'm gonna do better. Of course I'm gonna try, as always. So there's a quick win for me, almost, <laughs> I totally overlooked it, damn, well some warm up is needed. Alright, 
Okay, so he cannot attack there. Rather safe to play this line. I'm gonna push him. He cannot play this because it's a cut. Perfectly safe from my side. Okay, it's time to find the win and there it is gonna be this move on m12 regardless of where he blocks because i'm gonna use this line as well so it's a challenge we need to make a comeback to this game Challenge definitely accepted. Let's see how it's gonna go. Okay, I need to calculate a bit, but I think I can play here. I should be able to. Yeah, I don't see I don't see a black line there. But after that, I need to play here, I think. Yeah. He has some offensive options there, but overall still looking fine for me. Clockwise, I need to play a bit faster. 15 seconds deficit. Not the end of the world, though. Alright, so there's not a lot I need to be worried about down there, but out of respect, I'm just gonna go with a more careful approach here. Okay, I don't see yeah, no, nothing there, safe to play it like this, but he could still, still be offensive if he pulls, for example, e6 or something. Okay, solid base. No time to create something. I need to be a bit more faster. I don't... I'm not fast enough. Oh, okay. That was a losing move. He had a win there. Fortunately overlooked. Okay, three seconds. It's really bad I don't hear my clock. Oh, I have a Momo be here. I'm gonna turn on sound, but like this. Desktop audio is anyways turned off, so you guys should not hear it. Our second point packed. All right, for now, at least.
a balanced position turned into an offensive position now I need to find a nice attack now this move would be losing for him so I'm hoping he plays d9 it's a nice trap with b12 but if he plays for example e9 that's slightly worse for me okay can I get around it hard to oversee that it must be a multiple move zone combination definitely though definitely there is something there which i'm just not yet seeing Okay, the attack is gone. Kind of. I don't know, need to build a new one. Not a lot of time left again, below 10 seconds. Casper is being really fast here. Not gonna lie. Super fast there. Need to speed up a bit. Oops, almost a misclick. Tense moments. Really low on time. And he's really fast. Could still be tight. Oh, a mistake by him. A mistake in time trouble allowing me to take the point. Be lucky. <clears throat> Overall, we're making a comeback 22 19 for now. It's an interesting and rather sharp position there. Could still go both ways. I don't really think I can attack there now. Don't see any good one. Still an open game very much. But now at least the time advantage is with me. So far, he's been the faster one. Okay, almost surely gonna play the four, yeah? That was to be expected. Now I kind of just want to go around this. And not play a direct block there. Could this work? Maybe, but I'm gonna play this first because he's gonna play here and now it's better like this, in my opinion. Still unclear how this game could end. Or will end, rather.
some opportunities for both of us still in this game. All right. Time advantage still with me. But I need to turn it into a win soon. Otherwise not worth much. Okay, I believe I see a win, yes. Or nil, that's good. Let's think of some opening. And we're level 22 22. It's a nice comeback, a quick one. Early on in this second round in the match, Poland B, Hungary A. We were able to make a quick comeback. Fortunately, yeah, this very much looks like a win. Is he going to play the four or not? Nah? Always a question. Five nil. Suddenly we are two points up. Looking good. Okay, what's the best play here? Is it this one or the other one? Yeah, I might just have to play here. Kasper is a dangerous player. He's fast and then the strong attacker. The main reason he's dangerous though is definitely his speed. He's incredibly fast. He sees connections really, really quickly on the board. Like where do I block this? That's not good. Okay, this one's gonna go because if he plays here, I can play here. Solid. If he would play this, it's uh, cut. Almost sure I'm gonna play the four first. Then probably this three, not sure. Don't think he wants to play on seven because it would be a bad decision. Definitely for him to do that. Okay. Solidify the position. I'm aiming to play this move, but this is good because I can still do some little trickery here. And if he not block, if he isn't blocking on J8, he's losing. Oh, okay. He oversaw it. Point was, if he blocks on I8 instead of J8, I would still have a win. But out of question after that scenario. We've managed to establish a six points lead. Fair enough. A three points, sorry. I was looking at 26. That's why I had the brain lag. Okay, do I block here or there? Yeah, maybe here. Once he plays this trap, yeah, I have to react. 
Still okay, he's probably gonna move on I9 next. Solid position, yes, Tempo though. But position is still fine for me. He's getting himself a little bit surrounded there, which he might end up regretting in the future, but he insists on attacking, even though he's running out of space. No win here though, so might not be the best build up. I probably should cancel on it, but it's whatever at this point. Okay. I'm gonna move here because I don't care about this move, I can still block with a four. And be fine. I believe if I want to win, I need something different there. Oh, this would be losing actually. Wow. Surprised. He could have won here. If at least I make that mistake. But this game is proceeding towards a draw, which I don't fancy a lot. Okay, getting low on time, the ball fast. Still threatening me there. Both of us low, really low on time. Looks like it's just gonna be a draw. Unless one of us blunders. Which is hard to imagine, quite honestly. No blunders yet. 8 seconds for the both of us, rather each of us, yeah bro, so a half point drop, not the end of the world. But the difference is only one point, so... The better focus. Poland B is a strong team for sure. Is she gonna go for it? Yeah. What's the plan now though? Okay, I kinda want this play, so I'm gonna have to play this first and then this, but oh no, I don't need to. Okay then. I'm just gonna go like this and play this VCR. Okay, maybe some some other opening. 
Let's click the first stone, but maybe I can still make something out of this. He sides with a swap too, that's not too bad for me, I just need to pick the better color. And I believe it is white. Okay, advantage created. Now I need to create the attack itself. After I've established tempo in this game, now it's time to create some lines that I can connect in order to win this game. I'm positive though I have every chance here. Okay. I don't need to defend that. I really don't. There's no way he can link his stones there. This move is very passive near the edge of the board. This is another extra stone for my attack. He's in a lot of trouble. This game's gonna end within like 20 stones probably. Okay, even faster. Oh, oh good, eight and a half, half, two games left here. But still, only ha one point lead for us. It's crazy. Although, to be fair, we were minus <laughs> seven down after the first round. Okay, same, same build up. Looks like it. So he's gonna play k4 again. Nope. He played differently. Which means I play differently as well, so. Let's see where this one's taking us. It's one of his beloved edge openings. I really don't like this one. Actually most of of these these edge openings they are playing they're not my favorite ones but games game so wherever the opening you gotta play it can i go for an attack here more importantly is there a way for me to link my stones if not i really don't want to be surrounded there have to avoid it at all costs. Oh, nice trap. Almost fell for it, but... Can I win like this? No, because of the overline. Damn. If, if I cannot, then I might just spare it. And not play it because it could be problematic for me. Yeah, this this move would be very very advantageous for him. Also, I'm not sure why I did not play this. Now he has all the advantage. He has a good chance to defeat me, but he's low on time. Quite possibly, him being low on time is going to be fortunate enough for me to be able to win this game. Yeah, I already have a win there, thanks to this block there, VCF. Last game. Let's go with, with something different. Okay, this one. Definitely white. Oh, 
do I go for anything here or just a simple position I moved you know he's again very fast above a minute incredible his speed really is super speed for him this guy is fast Katsper Waitera is very speedy. Okay. No reason to push this area because I would just get myself surrounded. No good attack there. Unfortunately. Okay, managed to overline him. I just need to take advantage of that now. Only problem is I don't see how I could do that. Now surely, yeah. Chance is gone. Come on, man. I don't want another draw. Oh sh! I'm losing all one time. I need to play faster. Seven seconds remain for me. And he is damn fast. Super fast. He's blocked all of my attempts almost. No time to think about possibilities here. Hey, this is just gonna be another draw between us. Once more seems unavoidable at this point. We've plugged each other. So 10-1 with two draws, 36-30 overall. So last round upcoming, I'm gonna have Kramovka of course. Gonna be Ushik versus Aaron and Katsper versus Gergi. Time to motivate my teammates a bit. Six points lead. I 
Okay, Kramovka does not want to join my table. Not a problem. I just need a moment to drink something. All right, so here we go. Last round for us in the entire Team Verbless Championship 2024. Okay, where should I block this attempt? Okay, I'm gonna go here. That was a bit misplayed here. This move was good. He can push this line. I have defense, I believe, but ain't gonna be easy. The overall the combination looks good. Looks like it's just enough to keep me in game. Okay. I'm gonna go with this line here. He has this attack but it's cut all the way regardless of the order. So it's safe but Still, kind of the advantage relies with him. Not a good move from him. He can keep on the building there. But, it could be my chance maybe, but no, I don't see anything too good. Unfortunately. Nothing good enough. It's just not enough to, to go for an attack. But I'm low on time. No, he's low on time. Six seconds, okay. I was mistaken for a second. A quick mistake in time travel from him, allowing me to take the first point. Was a good game from him though. Short positional battle. The question is kind of which one of us is going to go for an attack first. Yet I don't want to. It's not the proper moment to start my attack. This looks like a better moment to start it. Because he cannot build anything here. Even this move is not enough. This is just good enough for me, so... Oh. What's that? There's no Wissy of. It's 
a mistake. This block does not create a VCF, so it's gonna be 2 0. Let's go with the same opening. I'm gonna pick white now because previous game I was a bit blaming there with black. I didn't like this move to be fair. Maybe it was the correct one though. Still don't like it. Now an offensive approach could be interesting here. I'm wondering, I'm kind of curious if he's going to try it or not because... Oh wow, he is, he is, lovely. Lovely bit of skill from Stepan Vukasic. I like it. So this is solid enough, no way to create a win there. His best attempt would be, I don't even know what, but definitely that's just not good enough there for him. Rather balanced position there. He could maybe still get some tempo here, create an attack. He may attempt it. Kramovka, he is also a strong attacker. Really, really likes to go for, for offensive lines. Which makes it fun to play with him or against him. I am definitely one to appreciate an offensive mindset in Gomoku. But he definitely needs to be a bit faster if he wants to catch me off guard. Oh, I'm the one with 10 seconds. I keep forgetting because normally I sit at the second spot. I need to start remembering it. Otherwise, I'm gonna mistake the clock each and every game and it's gonna be a problem for me, for sure. Now there's a quick win here. Went unnoticed by him, but not by me. Making it 3-0. Overall a 9 points lead already, looking good. Like this game, this game is also looking good for me. Okay, still I will need to work for a win. Nothing is given here for free. What do I do though? It just doesn't seem to be good enough. Especially not by my standards. Well, regardless, I'm gonna go for it. Because he cannot play this one because he would give me lines here and I really think he don't want to do that So maybe I'm expecting him to play d9 or something. Oh, yeah That was well expected He did indeed go for d9 
it's a good looking attack by him. I have to say that. Okay. What's next? Is it gonna be enough for me? Not a lot of time, I'm low on time. No time to think about it. If it's good enough or not. He has a win, I think. Oh, but he times out. It's quite unfortunate for him. I think he had a win, I feel like. Anyhow, 4 nil and an 11 points lead. Damn, I need to play a bit slower in these beginnings. I, I gave up tempo again. That's not good. Not a good thing to do. He can't show his offensive skills once again. Or... Or I'm gonna go show mine because I don't need to defend this line. Yeah, maybe this was not the smartest choice because of the overline, but eventually I still believe it's gonna be good enough for me. A bit pressuring him there and the mistake immediately. So 5 nil. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, no you don't, come on. No way he has anything there. Absolutely no way. Me, on the other hand, the quick win. That was reckless. Should not have attacked me like that. No, oh, come on. See what we got here. Probably he's playing here or here. Neither. A uh, hard choice. Really not sure about it. Back to level, I did not see a way to create an advantage there. Unfortunately. Better start building again from scratch because, well, sometimes that happens. Okay, he wants me to play here. 
I'm not gonna I'm gonna do something else, but what? This this should do the job. Now I can play here. But he's being very aggressive again, I like it. Oh, I should have played here. Stake on my end. I would definitely need a little more time to oversee this, it's a complicated position. Mistake him from him in time trouble again. So far he's not handling well time troubles, which is the main reason why this match is 7-0. He did have his chances. Also, there were some games where it was drawish position and he either timed out or blundered in the end it's not as neat as a lot of times i make it oh it's a mistake this is a mistake he could attack now now he really could attack at least it definitely looks like he could Okay, I'm gonna try and defend it. Looks, looks hard. For first glance. He could definitely cause me some problems here. Okay. No direct threat, but indirectly he could create a lot of trouble for me there, so I must defend that. Okay, what's the play here? I'm gonna go with this move, I like it, because if he tries something up there, I'm gonna go with this. Although... Slightly overlook this, yes, this move. Now this is gonna be problematic. How do I block it? Yeah, I think that mistake is gonna cost me the game now. Yeah, it did. Well found by him. Too bad for me. Okay, maybe a different opening this time. Should be good for white to build some some advantage here. Damna was greedy in that previous game. My impatience got the best of me. Okay, looks looks fine. Playable variant. So far it's doing well in it.
Okay, looks looks good to me. This move would be my absolute next choice, but tiny problem with the overlining. Yeah, he was quick to do that. Very, very quick. Well, anyhow, that's just a small hiccup. I can still very much control this game. I'm gonna play this 3 because I anyways wanted to occupy this i7 spot to stop him from that block. Which I did not want him to have. And therefore now I can play this with you off, yeah. Quick and simple solution making it 8-1 for me. 54-39 overall. That's good to see. Okay. Not gonna make that same mistake again. Oh, he was faster to play there now. Should I be afraid of this? Possibly. But I'm not. I'm not too afraid of it. Interesting line. He maybe wants to create something up there, but I mean down there, but he should not have anything there. Still, it's a complex position. He is doing well with his threats. These, these small attempts to make life harder for me. He's doing a good job with them, you know. It's gonna push me here. Is he not? He's not. For some reason, he gives me a moment to breathe there. He might end up regretting it later on. He has to block this here. I'm low on time, really low on time. Oh, come on. No, we see if I don't see anything there, I'm not falling for it. I really don't see, but there is one. Gee, there is one. There actually is one. He did not find it, but there was one. Gosh. There was one. Okay, so it's last game. By the way, 56, so we technically won the match and the competition, therefore. For which I'm really, really happy and I'm really proud of my teammates we had a really good season 
we played well, we fought well during this entire competition. We had some some easier games and some harder ones. Talking about Poland A, that was a huge performance from our side to take the win there because. Poland A is super strong, you know, full of strong players like uh, Michal Szykowski, Bogdan Brachacek, Adrian Fitzerman, and even Michal Zajk is there, so it is definitely, definitely something we need to take pride in, the fact that we could defeat them, even if it was by one point was the only point we needed a match point we defeated them thus we could finish above them in the team world Race championship 2024 great performance great season great matches it was exciting all around even in this last round Check A versus check B was fun and it was a medal match. Eventually the first team of Czechia prevailed and proved that they are indeed the first team of Czechia by defeating the second team of Czechia. So obviously one match is yet to be played, it's Slovakia A versus Estonia. However, we know the final standings on the podium at least. It's Hungary A, 7 match points, and plus, I don't know, 270 or something score difference is gonna be. And second place, place is Poland A, 6 points, and score difference should be around 245 250 i believe and the third place goes to czech republic a with five points losing only to hungary and poland and their score difference is a plus 135 140 or something like that the rest of them it's it's up for grabs really because many of those teams are very much near each other so it's not entirely sure yet how it's gonna end for all of them so due to that the match between Estonia and Slovakia A could still hold some excitement in terms of final standings for some teams if if uh, you're interested the match is gonna take place tomorrow after the Monday Blitz evening tournament so if I may recommend come join the Monday Blitz evening tournament it starts at uh, 8 p.m. Central European Summer Time and right after around 9 p.m. 20 or something like that the match between Estonia is gonna start um, between Slovakia and Estonia is gonna start so it's gonna be nice start for Monday meanwhile Aaron is defeating Lukas Meister here who won the private match 6-5 but the victory is with us. Anyhow. This match tonight is over with the victory of Hungary A 58 to 41 against Poland B. It was fun. 
<laughs> Wishik says, if only Zoli got permanent disconnection for two hours or so. <laughs> yeah, but that would be unfair, wouldn't it? So, a part of the team, I have every right to play. Anyhow, good match, good games. Poland B fought like lions. They really proved why they are called strong blitz players. I believe they they did well tonight. And so is my team. We also did well overall. After all, we won the match. Good performance from, from uh, Gergu as well. And Iron did well as well. I thank you for your attention for now and I'm gonna stream tomorrow evening maybe unsure but if yes and if not anyways see you next time cheers <laughs>